are you? Hello there. Welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna make, um, I'm gonna make the spaghetti carbonara. I've been making this pasta for many years. Uh, a lot of my family members love this pasta because it's easy and it's so tasty and delicious. You guys are gonna love it and gonna see how easy it is to prepare. And my brother's gonna make some uh, salad, some fresh garden salad, really good. There it is. And I'll show you later in a little bit what I'm gonna, what I put in this salad, okay, to make it really delicious, mixed with their famous carbonara that I happen to love. Mm -hmm. Well, we all love it, but it's delicious. You'll see in a little bit. Okay, so uh, I left some mushrooms so you could see how I cut them. I cut the stem. And the ingredients are gonna go into the carbonara. It's the uh, mushrooms, uh, garlic and onions. And of course, the bacon, that's the best part of the carbonara. This gives it a lot of flavor. Oh, yeah. And some celery. Celery in the carbonara. We're using some cheese. I'm using a heavy cream because I'm doing the, the sauce from scratch. So I'm using the heavy cream and some butter. You guys are going to love it. And then over here is uh, the water. I already salted it. I, get, I used like a spoonful of a uh, tablespoon of salt a little bit less i don't want to use that much and then i also a tablespoon of olive oil and then you just put in you drain in your i mean you put your pasta in so we're gonna let it uh, boil for a little bit for about five minutes seven minutes and then we'll start the preparation okay okay guys so see the bacon's already uh cooked so i'm gonna start adding the vegetables to Let's start adding flavor, guys. So I'm gonna put in all the garlic and the onion. I'm gonna add the celery and the mushroom. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like garlic. It smells delicious. Cause the bacon gives it a so much flavor. That's for the sauce. So I'm gonna add some oregano. About this much. Are you sure it's oregano? It's oregano and you All always right. check. You always check because it has little, like these little palitos. See, you always have to check. And then just crush it. There's another one. Crush it. Damn, it smells like oregano. It smells good. Yeah, it I does. I flavor that food. It sure does. It has another one there. And some parsley. I'm going to add some parsley. Just adding flavor. See, you don't need to put salt anymore because all this is flavor. Oh, it smells delicious. I think mm -hmm. it needs a little bit yep, more. Sure does. Just crush it. And we're going to add some pepper. Pepper is always good. It adds a lot of flavor. So there we got all the all the things I like to put on my carbonara. It's every day, of but it does not. use a lot of butter. So go ahead and did you see me? It's a this size. I don't know how many. It will probably be three tablespoons. I don't know. So two, two, or two. So you add the butter. This is for your sauce. And then we're going to add the garlic. I mix fresh. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. So there we go. We're adding a little bit of olive oil, just a bit, not too much, see? It's probably a, a half a teaspoon. We're gonna start making that sauce. So I'm adding about a cup of heavy cream. Why not? Let's make oh, one and yeah. a half. Because a lot of people like the extra sauce on one of them. So there we go. So 
So you let this boil. Whoops. Yep. Yep. Taste that. Yeah. Needs more butter, believe it or not. More butter? What? <laughs> I don't want a heart attack. I know. No, this that's is delicious. A that's that, a kumitsa not on every day. I don't recommend yeah. because it has a lot of cholesterol. Because all the butter and the oil and then the bacon. But you know what? I got the bacon. Uh, not. I don't know if you noticed. It, it didn't have that much fat. It was really, really uh, meaty. It wasn't. I didn't throw away any fat at all. Right. But you want it with a little bit because you need to for it to release. So you could cook all the vegetables and that, all that flavor, oh my God, it adds, yep. it adds it up. So look, thicken up, but you want it to boil. And wh right away when it starts boiling, you're, I'm gonna add the cheese and I'm gonna add a little bit of pasta, pasta water, okay? The sauce boiling, you wanna focus on the sauce. And then we're, I'm gonna add some cheese. It's gonna thicken it a little bit more and flavor i'm not putting any salt because I, i'm afraid to make it salty so i'm not gonna put any more salt and i'm gonna add a little bit a little bit of garlic powder powder okay it's not salt oh this cheese smells delicious see how it's thickening the sauce and it's already really thick so at this point i want to put the the spaghetti's already drained, so I put all the spaghetti. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Even like that, it's really tasty. And now I'm gonna add all the bacon, the celery, the mushrooms, it all goes in there. And now I'm gonna turn it off. So you just start mixing, mixing, make sure oh everything God, is incorporated. Wait. Everything's mixed. Ooh. And then, oh my goodness, it smells really good. It had been a while since I don't make this carbonara. See, and it's not dry. I hate pastas when they bring in, bring them up to you and they're dry. You have to ask for extra sauce. Oh, and also, I am going to add a little bit of that uh, starch water. Because I, I feel it's a lot, it's really thick. The pasta water, right? Yes, the, the pasta. Left, I always uh -huh. leave what a, a cup. A, or yeah, about a cup. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So see, it it, it helps it so it doesn't it, it's not that thick. So it's ready, and I also left some extra sauce because a lot of people like to put extra sauce on their. I'm I'm one of them. So. Um, two of them. <laughs> I love that. So I, yeah, I love that. Sauce. Oh yeah. So there we got it. Yeah. It's ready. It's ready, so guys. I'm going to serve some carbonara. That's mine right here. Okay. I'm claiming this one. So there it is. Beautiful. That's good. That's, That's good. good. Perfect. Okay, and then we're going to add some. You like uh, parsley? Okay. Oh, it's over here. I put it over here. So. Okay, so the parsley. Well, you any everybody could prepare it. There's a parsley, and then some cheese. Okay, and then some sauce. Look at that, guys. Oh man, there it is. Perfect. It's ready. And then he's gonna put his salad. Okay, now this smells delicious. I cannot wait to taste this, but. I want to show you, this is what my sister prepared, the carbonara, okay, and this is going to go along with a salad that I, that I kind of got from my, my daughter. She made me a salad once, a while back, and she used uh, tomato, apple, you know, you slice them up like this, and then some pepperinci, whatever you, uh, 
But with the, however you spell spell or pronounce these things, you but you, you don't pronounce right. them. You eat these things, right? So anyway, that cranberries, cranberries and of course the uh, the spinach. Spin. You use a couple of those, quite a bit. Okay, so this salad along with the dressing is gonna go really good with the with the carbonara. So you just kind of kind of put it like this. I'm trying to get a good view of where you put it. And this is all. Depends on how, how much you want of it, but I'm going to use the whole thing right there. Perfect. And then you want to throw in some cheese. And if you want extra cranberry, you can throw them in there as well, but you don't have to. And then the, the last thing you want is the, the croutons, obviously, because they get soggy if you throw them in the beginning with the, with the dressing, okay? So, voila! And you got to throw some of this Parmesan. It's Parmesan and Romano cheese, yep. so it's Very even tastier. So that's about it. Okay. And then let's go ahead and start. And I'm gonna be the first one to. Oh, let me plate. I'm gonna plate this with my. Uh, kind of want to give it a little toss as well. I'm gonna do it like this. Do it like that. Boy, this is. Mmm, yummy. And believe it or not, the cranberries give it a really good flavor. So that's how I'm going to start with maybe a crouton or so. And I want to get an apple too, get a little piece of apple there as well. Okay. So let's get this started. I'm going to give it a first taste. Hopefully I won't burn myself. Okay, so here it is. We're ready to eat and taste. I can't wait for this. So make it guys, it's really easy. They're gonna love you, trust me. It's a real easy recipe and very tasty. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Don't burn yourself like I did on the last video, okay? I already learned my lesson. Make sure it's cool, nice and cool, or at least I, I don't like it cold either, but just make sure it's, mm. it's warm enough. Really good. I remember I did not add any more salt. And it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it at all. Now for the salad. I need to taste the salad. Mm. The salad really simple but really, really has a lot of uh, flavor. Mm. How is it? It's delicious. Really good. Mm. I was thinking of adding more of the of the sauce, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that. It's really tasty. Yeah, you could add more sauce. I left. Good some. job, sister. You always surprise me. Oh yeah. So the salad too. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. With your favorite wine, of course. So Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video. And uh, I really recommend you doing this dish, okay? It's um, really easy. Your kids are going to love it because it's um, bacon. Everybody loves bacon. So hope you make it. And please share our video, subscribe, and like. Thanks, for, thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate you guys uh, um, taking time to watch our videos. But the best thing we want for you to do is watch the videos, comment. Don't forget to comment. We want to hear that you tried them, you didn't try them. This is very easy stuff to do. Well, I say easy because she did it, right? But but it's simple and easy to oh, do. Oh, no, but they're, they're easy. Um, it's easy because the ingredients are, you don't need to go to an Italian or, uh, it, they're really uh, uh, easy to find ingredients. So that's why it's easy. So hope you can make it. Bye bye guys. Bye guys. See you guys on the next video. See Don't forget to subscribe. Time. See you next Hit that time. Button. Thank you for watching.